Hello! Sorry, no project video today either, or this week either. Um, there are loads of reasons. Uh, last Half of last week and this weekend I was supposed to be at Superbooth, uh, which was cancelled unfortunately. Uh, but I kept my vacation days and used the time to try and get as much stuff out of here as possible. And you can see that did not work out well. I actually ended up with more stuff. Uh, some of the stuff you see back there. Uh, when I went with loads of stuff to a Salvation Army place to drop things off. I saw that in the corner of my eye. And some other stuff. Long story. Uh, I t talk more about it on, on my Patreon if you want to hear it. But uh, yeah. I'll, I'll probably get back to those things uh, sooner or later. Uh, and also I did work on a project uh, but I... So the next thing I want to do is a quantizer uh, and I, I did one on, based on a chip that I had to buy. It, it's uh, obsolete so I had to buy it quite expensive on, on eBay um, and then I found another one using a PIC or PIC uh, circuit instead and that has uh, so it's like an Arduino but it's not an Arduino so i not doing the Arduino stuff yet I found a loophole there uh, and I did that one instead uh, and that one it, the price will be about the same or actually if you take the code I found it will be cheaper uh, but you can also buy the chip pre-programmed a bit uh, more expensive. I'll get back to that in the next video. Uh, but anyway, so that's... I was torn there and I didn't get to um, finish that uh, process. But I think I finished it now, as you can hear in my head. Uh, I just have to get that down in a video. Uh, and also it's been great weather here in Sweden and I've been out in the garden trying to do all the stuff that needs to be done there uh, and all that. So anyway, today I, I published two videos, uh, maybe three if I finish the last one as well. It's two jams. One uh, where I show that the Baby 8 sequencer not only works with the uh, modular that uh, we all build, uh, but also works with any instrument that can use uh, CV and gate input. So I use a Deep Bass 9 to show that it's kind of like a TB303 sound module clone uh, that I use it with. And also one where I add effects, because all the jams I do there's never any effects on it and that makes a big difference for the sound and I just want to I just wanted to try that myself and then I thought hey you, I could share that as well it gives more ambience and more a deeper feeling to the music and that is one of the next days I'm going to make uh, so the quantizer is definitely the last for this day so the next section will either be inputs and controls or effects. I still haven't decided this. I'm waiting for stuff to come into some things. And I have um, tapes, loads of tapes, uh, for example, uh, and tape recorders that will kind of be used in both. And they take a lot of space and yeah, I was trying to clean and now I have, so yeah. Just wanted to uh, let you know this, uh, enjoy the two jams, uh, hope they are good. And also if I make it, there's a third jam with where I don't have the video. I just put, as I said in the last uh, video with the sequential uh, switch, I just started record when it did a, a um, repetitive pattern of sort or, or evolving uh, and it's actually just 30 minutes of a of a modular patch that just goes on and it's really soothing uh, and 
let me know how long it takes for you to get tired of it. If you just listen on it in the background, it's uh, quite meditative. Anyway, this was supposed to be short and now it's not anymore. So let's quit this and I hope to see you next week in a, a new project video. So take care. Bye.